This is called the pod cabinet, which is a unusual project for the shop. It looks like a big pumpkin, which has been cut in half, mounted to the wall, and it's comprised of five staves per side. These 10 staves were made by CNC milling out some rather large forms, and inside these forms, we put a fiberglass cloth and then infuse epoxy into the panels, which is drawn in with the vacuum system. It makes a very rigid panel, which has a compound curve. In order to support these panels, hardware was turned up or milled out of steel and plastic, and a steel framework was mounted onto a backboard. Here the shelves are being created, which is to be put into the cabinet, the hardware being installed, and as you can see, the cabinet is beginning to come together quite nicely. Some of the things that we discovered with this cabinet when we assembled it is really its relative ease of operation. It is truly a one-finger operation, drawing the staves out, and as each stave comes out, it grabs the next one in succession, closing to meet in the middle. Also, as you can push them back, each stave is then captured by the hardware that you see in the front. Uh, this hardware will be plated and the staves will be uh, painted. The inside will be stained as well. But one of the things that I really enjoy about this cabinet is not only its strength, its ability to hold several hundred pounds on the shelves, but really the mechanic itself. I, this armadillo or lobster mechanic is really uh, quite interesting to watch and uh, I enjoy opening and closing the cabinet and really uh, seeing how this works all together. It's what I call a four-dimensional cabinet. You have a height, width, and depth of any given piece and then you have the added element of how it looks over time and that would be the fourth dimension. Eventually we will finish this cabinet. You'll see photos and I thank you for watching.